Hey there, seminary students at the LDS chapels locally. I'd like to introduce you to a particular page on the Mormon Truth Videos Gospel Topics Hub. That's at dot weebly dot com. But you know, you just you, you Google uh, Mormon Truth Videos, and you're going to see this web page. Not this page, but you're going to see this website. That I put together uh, around New Year's, and I've just been adding some stuff to it, and I'm linking lots of the videos. I've got hundreds of videos that I've done on the uh, Dodger game and the Mormon Truth videos channels on YouTube. So, just a quickie on this. You got a little intro, uh, you know, statement leading into this uh, regarding Frisky Joe, <laughs> and yeah, I've delved into. Uh, church history a little deeper than they uh, give you in the correlated lessons. So, women, whiskey, and wine, and a few dozen more women. I'm going to give you a quick intro to this chapter. Lots of, There's some really good videos in here with a lot of detail documenting things are, uh, that, 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 that they don't teach you in seminary or in uh, young men's, young women's classes in Sunday school. I taught a lot of Sunday school. And uh, maybe to your parents. So, was anything they told us at church on the subject of alleged Mormon polygamy actually true? Well, perhaps if we get into the certain details about Brigham's lion house, we might actually find some obscure item which correlates with reality. However, the general narrative, starting with Frisky Joe taking liberties with young Fanny Alger, their 16-year-old nanny, in the barn in 1833, about 10 years prior to the alleged revelation known as Section 132, which found its way into LDS scripture about 1872, was even claimed to have burst from the heavens upon this incomprehensible self-proclaimed American prophet of the Restoration. I find little resembling the truth was taught to me in gospel doctrine classes, church history, or priesthood lessons. No, indeed, but that humble, obedient boy, who was presented as a pure and holy vessel for the living God to work through, to restore lost truth and authority to the earth, and was actually portrayed as the reluctant yet obedient servant of God who was forced by his God to prove his determination to serve him at all hazards with the help of his wife, Emma, in selecting suitable plural wives, in which thing he did bend to the will of God in creating his celestial harem, despite being grieved by the idea of having to open up their marriage to additional women of God. Nothing was ever mentioned about the infamous spiritual wife system and its hundreds of victimized women in Nauvoo, or the fact that Joe was chasing the wives and daughters of fellow apostles as quickly as he could get the boys out of town and on a mission, or at least on a business trip of any sort. The portrayal of Joe as a virtuous man is blatant dishonesty, as we shall soon see. No mention of the fact that the God Joe was command of Joe was commanding him to break his own marriage covenants, and the terms of a legally binding contract with Emma, and the total lack of integrity such a God must possess. Neither did we discuss the fact that when Joe stole the wives of eleven men, that he was destroying eleven families for all eternity. The following videos present a much more accurate picture of what Joe did with the women, once he got a taste of power in his high and holy calling. So here's one called Plural Marriage Among the Latter-day Saints. Myths, morals, and yeah, misogyny, I think is uh, what I named that one. Can't see the whole title. And uh, so that's that's there's two parts to that one. All right. Um... Information you won't see in seminary there, or that your folks didn't see in gospel doctrine, that I certainly wasn't taught, but if you do your research, you find out that things are quite a bit different in LDS history. So, um, anyway, there are a number of t videos involving 
uh, Joseph Smith's Escapades with the ladies. This here now is getting into a 10-part uh, series, because there are about 15-minute videos on these ones here, where it says Joseph Smith's Secret Combination and now the one of 10. And so this talks about uh, the spiritual wife system, which is not mentioned by the brethren at all. Uh, and it's basically like, you know, rent a woman, base, you know, it's like a timeshare, using girls like timeshares for sex. Uh, in Nauvoo, Joe claimed he did hundreds of women to Joseph H. Jackson. And so I'm reading the, uh, you know, the sworn testimony of Joseph H. Jackson, who basically went undercover in Nauvoo to find out what the heck was going on with the women and with the organized crime that Joseph Smith was using to enslave both the women and others, uh, enforced by his Danites, uh, which the church tries to tell us just disappeared suddenly. <laughs> That's not the truth at all. Brigham Young used the Danites to murder many, many people, enforcing his will in the territory of Deseret, which became the state of Utah, for the most part. So, um, isn't that lovely? Yeah. Check it out. This page. <clears throat> is the uh, Women Whiskey and Wine and a Few Dozen More Women page on the Mormon Truth Videos Gospel Topic Sub, where you will get the truth about LDS history and the evolving doctrines of Mormonism. The truth you don't get in your correlated m lessons. And the pointing out of the massive amount of deliberate deception on LDS.org directed by these corporate executives parading as apostles. You ever got a feeling that something wasn't right, especially when you read contradictory things in the Book of Mormon? Well, here's where you're going to get the facts straight and quick. Yep. Made this for you guys now. Use it.